watching Apple Tech Beast. This is Apple Tech Beast, my full review of the SteelSeries Siberia 350 gaming headset. Uh, now this runs for about £90 in the UK, uh, prices do change all the time though so check the link in the description as to how much it is right now. But let's get into the review. So as with most SteelSeries products it's got a black and orange theme, uh, you have the LEDs on the side there, as you can see, like a little dot style grill, uh, which can display Prism, I think it, they call it the Prism LED system, with 16.8 million different colours you can choose from. You've got some gloss plastic, you've got some matte sort of satin plastic, you've got the really nice uh, memory foam ear cups, and the like orange liner on the bottom of the headband, which is really, really nice, and then sort of a glossy steel series thing on the top as well. It's a really cool looking gaming headset, it's really interesting to look at and uh, it's got some very interesting features which I'll talk about now. So to start off with, the mic is sort of a retractable thing uh, in one of the in the left ear cup. So the mic's pretty good, it's good enough. I'll try and put a sound test in here somewhere if I can get it to record to my laptop uh, but I've tried that before and it hasn't worked. Turns out it does work. Um, so yeah, this is the sound quality on this SteelSeries Siberia 350 headset. When it's retracted you can bend it around to however you want it to, uh, wherever you want it to go and then you can put it neatly back in and it's not even it's not even like it's there, uh, just, a, just a pair of headphones I mean. So the ear cups obviously go over your ears uh, to isolate sound. I don't think they're sound cancelling but they uh, take quite a bit of the sound out of the surroundings you're in. These have virtual 7.1 surround sound uh, so using the SteelSeries Engine 3 software uh, you can control whether that's on or not and you can also change the 16.8 million different colours using the SteelSeries Engine 3 software as well and um, lot various other things, you can change a lot, you can change all the EQ settings uh, to however you uh, want them. Uh, the bass isn't the strongest uh, but this is more sort of an all-round headset um, Probably a cleaner sound to be honest because bass does some, sometimes get a bit muddy it means that you can't hear things very clearly But sound at this level isn't necessarily a deciding factor as to whether you should buy the headset or not Comfort is you can see here that on the headband It's got little uh, string things that attach it to the ear cups and that is the only thing that will be touching your head um, you, Obviously you've got the ear cups on your ears and then you've got this string suspended band which makes it incredibly comfortable. So as I mentioned, you've got memory foam ear cups, and then you've got this cool looking lining on the inside of it. You've got a bit of orange as well. It requires just one USB port via this cable. Uh, you do have inline control, so you've got a uh, volume up and down, and that's kind of, that's it. The only thing I would say is that the cable isn't that long. I'd say it's around a meter, meter and a half long. I don't know, it might be a problem for some people, it shouldn't be a problem for most. The sound is sort of medium, it's really clear, 7.1 is amazing. Bass isn't like in your face, which some people, most people like actually, uh, I've discovered uh, because I've reviewed some headsets before, headphones before. People don't usually like a lot of bass, but I do, and this doesn't have that. But as I've said, the comfort is, it just makes me want to get this headset just because of the comfort. And then the looks, the, uh, the LEDs on the side look amazing at night, uh, they look amazing in the day even. Steel Series do make higher end headsets than this, uh, this is sort of their mid range headset I think. Uh, at about £100, £90, like I said. As you may have seen, I've reviewed plenty of SteelSeries products in the past. I reviewed this um, Stratus XL gaming controller from SteelSeries, and the build quality is amazing. I will put the link in the description as to the Amazon product page for the Siberia 350, uh, so you can possibly pick one up. And, um, yeah, that was kind of it. I feel like I'm missing something again. If you liked it, then give it a like. If you didn't, then dislike it, and comment your opinion on my channel and this product specifically. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.